trading the euro INR is very much like playing cricket. A good batsman always knows which balls to play and which ones to leave. Ladies and gentlemen, a namaskar and a very good evening. Welcome to a brief webcast on how to trade the euro INR. And you will understand why I started with the analogy of cricket. First, a short slide on the conventions. Euro dollar at 1.17, dollar rupee at 74 and euro INR at 86.58. What, what do they all mean? They basically means that whatever comes first in the symbol is always one. Now, how is the value of euro INR derived? This is very important. It's simple and simple arithmetic. Elementary school level arithmetic. It is a multiplication of two currencies, euro dollar and dollar uh, dollar rupee. There is no other currency involved here. Understand this very clearly. Euro INR is nothing but a multiplication of these two currencies. For example, if euro dollar at this point in time is 1.17 and dollar rupee 74, euro INR will be trading near 86.58. If it starts to go outside this value, significantly then arbitrages will bring it back here so which means that if the euro INR has to go up and euro INR has to go down then euro USD or an, and the dollar rupee has to go up and down and nothing else so then the question comes when should you buy the euro INR like cricket when should you play the stroke you should buy before you buy and sell the euro INR, first you have to form a view on what is your expected trend of euro dollar and what is your expected trend of USD INR. Without forming a view on euro dollar and USD INR, one cannot trade the euro INR. And that's how I trade and that's how one should trade. You cannot trade the euro INR without having a view on euro dollar and USD INR because those are the two currencies which dictate whether the euro honor will go up, down or stay sideways. So when should I buy? I will buy when my view on the euro dollar is upward and dollar rupee is upward. I will be aggressively long. If at least one is upward, the other one is sideways, I will be long but moderately so. When should I sell? Just opposite. If my view is both the currencies will fall, I will be aggressively short. If at least one will be down and other one is, is, uh, is sideways, I will be moderately short when should you avoid it's like that great batsman who knows which ones to leave when the two currencies are following opposite trends or they are both sideways then i should avoid euro inr so don't trade euro inr or else like that stupid batsman you will get caught so now the question comes how do i track the euro dollar i use three types of filters the charts events and news first the charts i use trading view this is a fantastic interface of tradingview.com free interface you can go and create a login id using your gmail i use the daily chart and then i use the hourly chart to form a view the daily gives me the trend idea of the trend and the hourly gives me the entry and exit and the stop loss levels and the very intraday trend of that pair so the, that was the daily chart this is the hourly chart and now from after i formed a view on the charts i move to the events so forex factory you have the link forex factory gives you a fantastic economic calendar you will get a complete view of what's what are the major economic events from eurozone which is going to impact the euro not just for the day but for the entire week it's important to uh, know that to understand when it can get impacted because of an event then i come to the news flow for, uh, forexlive.com is a free website which gives you uh, da uh, daily live news fx tweet is also another website which you can refer to both are free so using the charts events and news i have formed a view on the euro dollar now my turn is to form a view on the dollar rupee three filters over here as well i use the charts i use i have a look at what's happening with the uh, equity markets not just here also internationally 
and what's happening with the dollar against other international currencies. So the daily chart gives me the idea of the major support and resistance, the broader trend if uh, there is one. And these are the website where you can access the futures charts and the spot charts. Then I come to the hourly chart to come to specific support and resistance levels which I can utilize to enter into intraday trades or intraday view. Right. So after the charts have given me a fair idea as to what could be the trend intraday of dollar rupee. I look at what is happening in the equity markets, not, uh, not just the nifty, but also what's happening internationally. So investing dot com gives me uh, a complete list of what's happening around the world in equity markets. So if equity markets are rising, it is good for the rupee and hence it's going to be negative for dollar rupee and vice versa. Then I look at what is happening to the dollar against international currency. So in that list, I consider a, a few currencies very important. I look at uh, what's happening with gold. I look at what's happening with uh, Singapore dollar, Mexican peso, Brazilian real, South African rand, Chinese yuan, British pound and the euro against the dollar. So if most of the currencies including gold is saying that the dollar is uh, depreciating against them then it's a clear sign that the rupee can also appreciate and the dollar rupee can fall and vice versa so this now helps me these three things will help me to form a view on the dollar rupee so I've uh, formed a view on the euro dollar I've uh, formed a view on the dollar rupee now I'm ready to now take a trade whether buy or sell or avoid on the euro INR. Whenever you trade the euro and these three rules always have to be adhered to or else you are risking your clients longevity. First, you should not exceed 100 contracts of trade in the euro and second, always have a stop loss and stick to that uh, stop loss. And third, one who fails to have a, uh, have a stop loss may end up with unlimited losses. So with this, I'm uh, signing off. Have a fantastic day ahead.